So now we have a jar with 10 red marbles, numbered 1 to 10, 12 blue, mo no, 12 blue marbles, numbered 1 to 12. A marble is drawn from, at random from the jar. They want decimals here, not fractions. So first up, uh, marble's red. Now they don't tell us total, but we can compute that pretty quick. 10 red, 12 blue, that's all that's in there. There's 22 total. So probability of red, there's 10 reds, 22 total. Uh, that's all there is for the first one. 10 favorables, 22 total, that's it. All right, second, um, this is gonna be the fraction, oh, sorry, the decimal version of that fraction. All right, part B, marble is odd. Now, odd could be red or blue. So probability of odd. So we have 10 reds, one through 10, 12 blues, one through 12. So I'm just gonna write out all the numbers. All right, I'm going to now, I'll use green. So I want all the odds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So there's 11 odds. Total, same, 22 marbles. So probability of marbles odd, 11 out of 22. All right, that's not reduced, uh, and it needs to be in a decimal. So that'd be one half or 0.5. All right, part C, red or blue. Okay, well, we only have red and blue in the jar. So logically, all we have is red or blue. So if you draw red or blue, you're okay. 100% chance or probability of one. You could think about probability of red and then the probability of blue. Probability of blue is 12 out of 22, and you would add 10 out of 22, 12 out of 22. Add those up, you would have 22 out of 22, which reduces to one.